Call the Loyum by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakodash. That's all praise to the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai, who deserve all the glory and all the praise of every spectacle of it on the earth. Every little ounce, every minute matter of glory belongs unto them. All right? Mashin Yakapa, Lahaza Kwanyam. Gawala Rakab Shah Yasha Allah. That's double honest to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, uh, who are the leaders of Israel Israel, whether you can receive that or not. Uh Shalawan Wa Shalom Habaya Dawada. All right, uh peace and mercy to the brethren on the four corners of the earth, pushing this word in sincerity and truth, the house of David, the elect, uh, and those men, women, and children uh putting their lives on the line. Uh, the men putting uh, presenting their bodies of a li living sacrifice and uh, shalom wa hab la hab wathi and peace and love to the few sisters listening in humility. Okay, um, so many times we think about the scriptures and think about how the Lord bestowed his his mercies upon us and his tenderness towards the children of Israel. You know, of course, we have seen the Lord's wrath, but. You know, it's so many times it says in those days, you know, he, he's going to uh, blot out our sins. And, you know, I speak for myself, but I, I very much know that I speak for the other brothers as well by saying that we have a multitude of sins, man. We have a, a, a grave amount of things that we've done in this world that the Lord could have eradicated us for, that he could have destroyed us for, you know. Uh, but the Lord is long suffering to those that love him. Okay, so I got a few scriptures. This is Hebrew, Hebrews 8 and 8. For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, when I will make a covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. The house of Israel is known as the, uh, the northern kingdom, and that when the house of Judah is known as the southern kingdom, okay, which are the so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics. It says, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the hand of e out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant and I regarded them not, said the Lord. All right. So we, we disrespected the the uh, the Lord's commandments in those days. We broke his commandments, we broke his law. So the old covenant was made with our fathers and we continue not in it. So he destroyed us for that. All right. But he said he would make a new covenant with us. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, said the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts, and I will be able to, and I will be to them a power, and they shall be to me a people. Okay, that's speaking about the elect and the things that He's going to do for us, because it speaks. It says, "Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times." Okay, but through Yahweh Shai is where this new covenant was given unto us. Okay, to be sealed in our minds and sealed in our hearts. And it says, uh, and they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. Okay, so because at that point, the elect are going to be sealed. Okay, so is uh, knowing the Lord, the, the, the time for his grace is right now of, of seeking. The, he says, seek me while I may be found. Okay, so the least to the greatest of the elect are going to know Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. It says, for I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's deep, man. For all of the wickedness that we've done, the Lord still has bestowed his righteousness upon us. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness. And their sins and their iniquities would I remember no more, man. Call the Lord, you might how about some y'all shy for his mercy, man. This is Hebrews 10 and 17, 10 and 16. And this is similar, but it goes on a little more. 15. Wherefore of the Holy Spirit also is a witness to us. For after that he had said before, This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, said the Lord. 
I will put my laws into their hearts and in their minds while I write them. And their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Now where remission of these there is, there is no more offering for sin. The Wadi Yahweh Shai. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Yahweh Shai, by a new and living way, which he hath consecrated for us through the veil that, that is to say his flesh. He's consecrated it for us, man. He's, he's put his life on the line for the children of Israel, for the elect of Israel. All right. And having a high priest over the house of the Most High, let us draw near with the true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. It says, uh, let us draw near with the true heart, man, a full assurance of faith, a proper mind, full assurance of the things that we know that we put away for this world. It, is, it says our hearts sprinkled with an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water, man. You know, Yahweh Shah was that grace for us that we're washed over. And that's what it truly means to be baptized, to be washed over with the blood of Yahweh Shah through the renewing of your, your, your mind and body. From putting away the flesh and the lust desires of this world, man. That's why it's so important to fast and pray. Let us hold fast the profession of our hope without wavering. For he is faithful that promised. Alright? It says let us hold fast the profession of our hope without wavering, man. Because the Lord says if we hold fast until the end, we shall be... We, of those that endure shall the end shall be saved, man. So it's, and he said he want to remember our sins and our iniquities no more. So hope without wavering. You got to be confident in the fact that you're, you're doing the best of your ability to praise Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. Um, I got a couple more scriptures. First, I want to get uh, Revelation 21. This is Revelation 21, and I'm going to go down to 4, but I'll start at 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the Most High out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. All right, so that... The new heaven and the new earth, the first earth, the first heaven and the first heaven were passed away because America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. Okay, so that holy city coming out of the heavens is the nation of Israel. All right, the 144,000, the elect, in proper, proper, proper bodies, incorruptible, proper minds, following Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And even proper adornment, proper clothing. It says, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And Israel is likened unto a woman. And Yahweh Shai is the uh, bridegroom. Okay? That's a beautiful sight. And it says, and I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with them, with men. And he will dwell with them. And they shall be his people. And the Most High himself shall be with them and be their power. And Yahweh shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. You know, that's that's the Lord ridding us of all the pain and suffering that we've been through, man. Ridding us of our sins and our, our past ways and all of the torment that we've been through. That's a blessing from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It says, wipe away all tears from their eyes, man. Because spiritually, we've been crying for for centuries. You know? And that's the reason we, we mourn the way we do. And that's the reason we sigh and cry the way we do. All right? It says, wipe away the tears from their eyes, man. We're still, even though our faces seem hard and, uh, and you know, Israel are uh, toughing through the times, man. But we're spiritually crying, man. And that's why we have to, the men of the Lord have to sign and cry for all the abominations be done therein. That's why the one third have to cry for the sake of the whole world, ultimately. You know, because that, this place, was, if it was left up to Esau and, and not through the grace, grace of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, 
everything will be destroyed, man. But through his loving, tender mercies, we're, we're granted uh, uh, another chance. And I'll just read down to five. And he that sat upon the throne, that's Yahweh, said, Behold, I will make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. These words are true and faithful. So Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, uh, they're men of their words. You know, they're going to keep the the promises that they've made unto us, man. And they're going to wipe away our tears. They're going to cleanse us from our sins and cleanse us from our the uh, wicked deeds that we used to take part in. All right, this is uh, this is James five and I started eight. Be ye also patient. Establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. All right, we have to be patient, man, to get those sins wiped away. All right, we got to be patient. Establish, get ready. They're saying be patient. And patient means to suffer. And that goes back to those tears, man. We got to suffer for a little while. But it says, for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. Yahweh Shai is on his way, man. It draweth nigh. It's soon. It's close. Okay, um, grudge not one against another, brethren, lest ye be condemned. Behold, the judge standeth before the door. Take, my brethren, the prophets who have spoken in the name of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, for an example of suffering, affliction, and of patience. All right, so the, the prophets are our brethren, Israelites, by flesh and spirit. Of one mind and one 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 voice, one mind, one body. The true prophets of the Lord. Lord willing, we're amongst that number. All right. It says, um, "Behold, we count them happy which endure." See, though we suffer, we're happy in the spirit, man. We're rejoicing because we know the things that are to come. Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard of the patience of Job and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender tender mercy, man. You know, you have heard we've heard of the patience of Job, man, the things he endured.